One of my favourite types of night photography is photographing the lights of buildings reflecting in some water. That could be as simple as a puddle, or in this case, reflecting on the sea. The really nice thing about the sea here is that the reflections are moving and this shot will work just as well with video as it will with the photo. But in either instance, when the light is getting this low, you're going to need to really hold the phone as steady as possible. So what I've done is broken out a tripod. You don't have to have a full size one. You could have a little tabletop one and just bounce it on a ledge. Or if you don't have any kind of stand at all, just try and lean on something while you take the picture. Because as we'll see, various clever modes on the phone can actually counteract for some of those wobbles that you might encounter. Now looking at the screen, you may not be able to tell exactly how dark the conditions have become. And most phones will automatically switch into a night mode to prepare themselves. Now, a lot of phones have got night modes now and uh, it tells them that they're gonna be doing a longer exposure or it turns up the sensitivity. It's basically just getting ready to photograph in these sorts of conditions. You can see here that this phone has entered it automatically but if it doesn't, you could select it manually. Here's the night mode, ultra dark mode, which means it's even more prepared. Now for a shot like this, where we're looking at the reflections of the lights in the sea, I prefer to either go very wide so I can get the complete scene, perhaps with some nice looking clouds, or zooming into the details. And I can see here that most of the action is actually taking place around this bright red sign here. It changes color, it's now green. So let's take a closer look. This is what we get at two times, and it's looking quite nice now, but I think we can go a little bit further still, maybe to like four or five times. And then at this point, it's a case of recomposing until you get the kind of shot that you're after. Being aware that as soon as you take a picture in something like a night mode, it may crop the picture. So let's see what this one does. And you can see here that it's thinking about it because most night modes are actually going to be taking several pictures and combining the best of them. Sometimes it's combining different exposures to get a balance of light. Sometimes it's just taking multiple pictures in order to try and get a sharp shot. And we're going to give it the best chance possible by photographing from the tripod. And all you need to do is take as many different versions as possible because one of them is going to end up looking really nice. And when you have lights like these that are constantly changing color or illuminating in different ways, it is worth taking a selection of pictures because they will look different. So here's my first shot where I took a wide angle picture where you capture the entire length of the pier. And I really like the way that you can see the reflection of the lights in the sea all the way along. Now, when you are taking night pictures, it's very important to zoom in afterwards to make sure that they do look sharp. They're never gonna look as sharp as a daylight picture, but it's important to make sure that there's no camera shake before you move on. And I'd say here that the night mode has done a great job at keeping that nice and steady, while also balancing the light of the exposure. But when I do zoom in, I can already tell that I'm gonna prefer a closer shot. So in this next picture, here is one that I took with the lens zoomed to two times, where I'm beginning to really zoom in on the action of the main pier sign and the buildings to the right here. And notice how the night mode has again done a great job at balancing the exposures here. In a normal picture, this would just be completely white, but the night mode has done a great job at actually retaining the detail within. However, once again, I do feel that we can get a little bit tighter, a little bit closer. There's a little bit of blank space here that doesn't look very interesting. So in my third and final picture here, I've zoomed to about four to five times from this distance and it's really filled the frame with the action and I love the colour of the light reflecting in the sea here. I've got rid of all that dead space on the right hand side and the night mode has done a fantastic job at retaining the detail within the sign. You can clearly see it saying Brighton Pier and that will look lovely when you post it. <laughs> 